As we uh, hopefully reel away from the uh, heavy load of COVID, we start going back and look at the lessons that we've learned. If a hospital is going to be to re respond to a pandemic uh, like COVID-19, uh, special attention or more attention should be given to ventilation, use of space, and making sure that more open space is available, granting also the small areas that hospitals are built in now because of the cost of uh, land uh, where they have built. And of course, the isolation of uh, patients and healthcare workers has been a big reality that we had to take care of and uh, with much difficulty also. And in the long course of COVID, we realize also that we eventually make the hospital our uh, home, uh, second home, and that we have to have refuge areas for our healthcare workers that will uh, hopefully dissipate the uh, anxiety, the stress, the fatigue, or maybe the longingness of home, even if they're, when they're in the hospital. All of these changes should be scalable, meaning you can increase them at a given notice, and you can decrease them when the time comes that uh, more other services are needed to be mobilized. Maybe if we uh, just get out of the old model of what is going on now, no. this patient with COVID goes to hospitals that hopefully will take them in. And that's why it is very common to hear when they get to us, they've been to 20 hospitals, uh, one patient even saying 40 hospitals um, all the way from uh, Laguna. Uh, with an SDN uh, service delivery network, the uh, agreed functions of uh, all these hospitals will expand the ability for a patient to have more entitlements to the services of this uh, network of hospitals. No? But the ability of these hospitals to give service will depend a lot on the joint management of these hospitals and will require a command center. A command center that will dictate who moves to what hospital at what time during the time of need of a patient. So I'd just like to repeat again the four lessons that I've personally learned from this pandemic. Fight the fear, believe in good science, never let your guard down, and let's take care of each other.